What's going on guys? Hyper Orange here and I already caught my first fish. <laughs> Just kidding. A lot of bait fish in the canals. Today I'm with my good buddy, Mark. We're doing some yak fishing, the good old yak. The mini bass boat isn't going nowhere, but you know, got to take advantage of the yak. And uh, we're going to be in these canals and going for some largemouth bass. The fall transition is going to start soon, but it, it's still got some heat. So we're going to take advantage before these fish uh, are skittish for two, three days. But hopefully we can get into some good largemouth bass. No, I'm going for sturgeon. They could be. <laughs> All right, guys. Since I happen to have a, a motor. No, I don't. <laughs> We're going to give uh, Mark a little bit of a tow. Uh, do you want to tie it around the front one? Yeah. Oh, just tie it on? Yeah. Here. Let's hope this little uh, handle... I just put a double knot. Oh, I'll do a triple knot. Oh, that's good. Oh. That was shit. All right. <laughs> Gonna take up the slack first. <laughs> Still full throttle right now. Okay, I got the slack. You have it tied on here? No, I'm just holding it. You're like tied on. It's just fun. <laughs> <laughs> Look at We're going five kilometers with Two, two kayaks. This is awesome. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> the tow is in progress. Look at that plane. Oh, wow. Look at the action. Oh, that was so sick for the video. Oh yeah, oh my God, he slammed it. Oh my God, Mark. Oh my God. Oh, that's a good bass. Where the hell's my net? Yeah! <laughs> Let's stop. Oh my God, he just jumped out of the boat. I gotta remember I'm in the kayak. <laughs> oh my God, not even. Maybe fishing for, for not even five minutes, like not even 10 casts. There we go, boys. Look at this bass. Man, I, I missed. Uh, guys, I absolutely uh, I love my mini bass boat, but I there's just something about uh, fishing in a kayak. <laughs> there we go. Time check. I've been on the water for officially like <laughs> nine minutes. And we got a bass, slimy boy. Mark, I'm on the board. You gotta get something. Can I ask you a huge favor? What's up? If possible, see the bin over there? Yeah, you want it? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. One sec. If you could. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, the motor's awesome. I got a 45 min coda underneath. Oh, the oh, the battery's in the front. Battery's right here under me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I run the same battery on my boat. Yeah. There, I'll give you this to grab. Yeah. There, there you go, sir. Thank you. I no problem. Anytime. Have a good day. Take care.
<laughs> Alright, that was on camera. Mark just said he wants to see if he can stand up on this. So, I will link his Instagram, his YouTube, his Etsy, if he does it. <laughs> I think you could do it for a sec. Like it wouldn't be comfortable. Yeah, Mark's a pro. Now wait till I make this wake by him. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, there's no way you would fish from it. No. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm on. I got him. Man, yeah. It's literally second cast on the Ned rig. Man, I do that so much, Mark. I catch a I catch a fish with something and I just I just stick, I know I it's a good lure and I just stick with it, but always change it up. Like it, this guy has been caught before and his top of his mouth is just <laughs> annihilated, but thank you for biting, man. Look at it, little dink. Look how beautiful he is in the sun. Beautiful scale, super healthy in here. See ya, bud. Oh, he splashed me big time. <laughs> this is the goal, guys. Look at this beautiful one deep V. Big net, this guy musky fishes. He's got a pontoon, jet skis right on the water, and then Lake St. Clair is right there. That's awesome. That's the goal. One day, guys, one day. We already got the red boat, just gotta upgrade. Just gave Mark a tow, pretty far actually, and he's getting off right there. He's gotta go earlier today, but I'm really happy he could get out here. But I am gonna continue the hunt. It's 11 minutes to five, so the fishing is gonna get good. Hopefully the top water really shines today. But let's put this bad boy in gear and let's go. Oh my god, he hit that so hard. There we go. Ugh. Gotta remember to open my bail when I do that. <laughs> I'm used to fishing out of the mini bass boat. That was, that was such I pulled him through the weeds and uh, and like setting the hook so he felt a lot bigger. Get this cabbage out of the way. Small fish today, but honestly I haven't been on the kayak in a hot minute so I'm, I'm having a lot of fun. Mark just left, so I'm going to snap him. <laughs> he just left and I just nailed the bass too. There you go, bud. Whoa! 
I don't know if I caught that. I hope I caught that camera. Haha, <laughs> my quote. I let him go. He swam under, but then he just jumped back up. Oh my god. It's a huge freaking bass. Yeah. Oh, I thought I was snagged. Oh, he absolutely freaking hammered it. Oh my god, that's a good bass. Yeah. There we go. Yes! Oh, absolute unit. We'll get a quick weight on him, because I'm curious. Two and a quarter. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Absolutely gorgeous. Two pounds, 24. Oh, look at them in my hand. That's awesome. You got me a little. <laughs> yeah. Love the boat, man. Love it. I used to fish here a lot when I was younger and uh, it's good to be back. I, I really, really do enjoy it. Oh my God, I got slammed. Oh my God. Oh my freaking god. Oh my god, look, that's a good bass. Yeah! Oh my god. Oh, this is for sure a three pounder. Yeah! Now the fishing is turning on, 5.30. Oh my god, my thumb is on the hook. Yeah, maybe two and a half. Oh, I'll t on this channel we'll take twos all day. It's not like in Florida or Texas where you just throw a wacky worm and get an eight pounder and they're like, meh, we'll take twos all day. That was so much fun. Yeah, let's get a, let's get a weight. We got it right here. Get the bait out of the way. This guy's gonna relax right here. I'm really happy with this Rapala scale. Good, uh, good catch to lip the fish. Nice and easy, you're not gonna drop them, and it's not a sharp point. And then you just turn it on and it's nice and easy. Oh, it's actually a little bit smaller, man, but he hit harder, I'll take it. 218. <laughs> two, two pounders back to back. <sighs> They're so gorgeous in this canal, nice and healthy. Now, since the GoPro is like a 360 lens, it looks smaller. Look at the recording. Now I'm gonna record on my phone to show the, the real size of it. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. Let's see it compared to my hand. <laughs> Gorgeous fish. Beautiful release. Fish in the weed line with a wacky worm. <laughs> right at 5.30. 
You know, guys, if it's calm, like St. Clair's right here, like this in the mouth out of the canals. If it's calm, I might, uh, I might head on in, throw a Ned rig and go for some smallmouth. It's football season and the, the better kind, if you know what I mean. <laughs> now both are great, but, uh, oh man, the guys have been crushing it on the St. Clair smallmouth. It's just been really rough lately. I haven't been, uh, the mini bass boat, you know, it can handle its its own, but Lake St. Clair is, uh, is not something to be taken lightly. She can get real nasty real quick. I hope you guys are liking the commentary. Uh, a couple of comments have been saying they, oh, <laughs> every time I go to say something, I always distract myself. But yeah, a couple of comments were saying uh, you guys wanted to hear some more and just kind of chill and hear what I got to say. This guy's got a plane. Oh, what a cool neighborhood. In Ontario, housing is just insane. But you know, if things go right here or there, I'd love to get a, a nice place somewhere on the water. Lake St. Clair is truly special to me. But that's for down the line. If I uh, keep buying fishing gear, guns, and boats, uh, it doesn't help. But yeah, I hope you guys are liking the commentary. It's uh, at first, you know, when you hear yourself, uh, your own audio or own voice in a video, you're like, oh, that's cringe, but I'm getting used to it. And uh, it's becoming more natural to just kind of talk. This guy's setup is not too bad. Got a nice duck gun fishing boat, new Evinrude. And then he's got a float plane. <laughs> Man, stuff around Lake St. Clair is just cool. Some people, some people know what's up. All right, guys, I was just in uh, Lake St. Clair for a sec. I was gonna uh, maybe throw a couple casts for some smallmouth, but it, the sun's setting already. Uh, so I just went out there, got a nice view, relaxed for a sec, and then just came back in. But uh, it was it was an awesome little day in this canal. So uh, I'm, I'm happy with those two two pounders. Can't complain at all. And it was fun to fish with Mark and uh, you know just get out here again. Saw a lot of cool birds and wildlife. But uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. Cheers, and we'll see you on the next adventure.